Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Vitor Updates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Negi and I'm an aviation enthusiast. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about carbon pile voltage regulator. Okay, so to begin with note one point friends, the most practical way of controlling the output voltage of a generator is by controlling its excitation current, right? That means the current which is fed to the field winding of the generator which produces the flux, right? So let's start the topic now. So as the name says carbon pile. So in this voltage regulator, what we are having is a carbon pile. So what is that carbon pile? Carbon pile is basically a pile made of carbon disc. Small carbon disc will be there. Suppose this is a carbon disc, okay, like this. So likewise, so many discs will be there and they will be piled up and will form a pile. Okay, and hence called as the carbon pile. Suppose this is one of such discs. Likewise, so many discs will be there. Okay, friends, I am keeping so many discs. So these are the carbon disc or we can say carbon washers. Okay, so these carbon disc or carbon washers, they form a pile, hence called as the carbon pile. Okay, and at the terminals, there will be some carbon insert having silver contacts. Okay, suppose there is a silver contact and here again, this is a carbon insert having a silver contact. Suppose this is the silver contact. Okay, now this carbon disc, we know well friends, it will have some resistance, right? And when we keep all these carbon disc or washers in a pile, there will be some resistance, okay, as per its length. I mean to say the resistance of this carbon pile will depend on the area or the diameter or the thickness of this uh, carbon washer, okay, and also it depends on the pressure which will be applied on this carbon pile, okay. I repeat again, the resistance of this carbon pile will depend on the area or diameter of a carbon disc or washer, the thickness of the carbon disc or washer and the compression or the pressure which is applied on this carbon pile okay so suppose there is more pressure on this pile so if there is more pressure on this pile what will happen friends its length will decrease right and when length decreases what will happen to resistance it will also decrease why because we know resistance which is represented by r is directly proportional to length right so that's why when length decreases resistance also decreases okay and what about the other case when there is less pressure on this pile in that case the length will be more right and when length is more resistance will be more so when length is more okay then resistance also will be more so what conclusion we can draw from here is if pressure is more on the pile its length will decrease and hence resistance decreases right and if there is less pressure on this pile then resistance will be more okay through this carbon pile okay so note these two point friends and let's now move ahead now in addition to this carbon pile if you want to use this in a circuit obviously it should have some contacts so one contact will be taken out from this silver contact here and the other contact is in contact with a plate called as the armature plates suppose this is the armature plate this one okay this black color one is the armature plate okay i'll label it here armature plate okay when the regulator is designed this armature plate is pushed okay it used to compress the carbon pile so from this end of the carbon pile there will be a screw okay compression screw which will be pushing the carbon pile and from this end there will be a armature plate now the question is who is pushing this armature plate there must be something right and that something is the compression spring suppose this is the compression spring or control spring we can say okay this is a mounting mounting frame and this is the spring so likewise on this side also i'm attaching another spring Okay, so this is the control spring which is again mounted to the mounting or you can say frame. So these are the control springs which are pushing the armature plate towards the carbon pile and hence we can say that 
in normal conditions or static conditions the carbon pile is in the compressed state okay that means the resistance will be less okay next what will be here is we have another component over here we have one core okay like this so this is a core okay and this core is having a winding like this called as the voltage coil okay so what is this this is the voltage coil or you can say magnet system okay so how does this work if i provide current to the terminals of this coil what will happen current will start flowing through this coil and that current will produce a magnetic field and that magnetic field used to electromagnetize this core so this core now will behave like a magnet it's when the electromagnetic force of this core is very much strong very very powerful in that case the spring force will not dominate who is dominating the electromagnetic force so in that case the armature will be pulled downwards Okay. So what conclusion we have drawn from here friends, if I provide current to this coil then this current will produce a magnetic field and if in case the current provided is very strong, very high, obviously the electromagnetic force it produces on the core also will be very much high and if the electromagnetic force is very much high or powerful it will pull down this armature plate downwards. Why it will pull? It's because the electromagnetic force of this core becomes more stronger than these springs, control springs okay that means the control spring force is dominated by the electromagnetic force okay but when i have not talked about this voltage coil okay and the core there was armature plate and springs that means in static conditions or normal conditions it is the spring force or control spring force which dominates and this makes sure that the armature is pushed upward and the pile is in the compressed state okay and also you can say that there is a considerable gap between the armature and the core in static conditions but if i'm not talking about the static condition if i'm talking about the case when the current in this coil is high and the electromagnetic force is very much powerful in that case the gap will be reduced why it's because the core used to pull the armature towards it okay that is the spring force does not dominate so friends this is about the carbon pile voltage regulator okay so friends you can see a picture of this carbon pile voltage regulator over here this is how it looks like and some of the parts are labeled you can see the fins the fins are basically for heat dissipation basically those fins are coming out from a casing within which is kept the carbon pile so let me tell you friends the carbon pile is kept inside a ceramic tube and that ceramic tube is within a solid casing on which the sinks or heat sinks are provided for heat dissipation so that during operation when the carbon pile generates heat then that heat will be dissipated by means of these fins which are there on this regulator and friends there is a compression screw at the end plate of the carbon pile voltage regulator that compression screw is tightened to a set torque so that the carbon pile is in the compressed state in static conditions okay so let me just quickly summarize what all things we have discussed we have discussed that uh, in a carbon pile voltage regulator we use carbon disc or carbon washers which are arranged in the form of a pile now this pile is kept inside a ceramic tube and that tube is kept within a solid casing which is having heat sinks for heat dissipation when the pile pressure will be more or less that time heat may be generated through this so that heat is uh, discharged by using the fins or the heat sinks Next to this carbon pile, okay, carbon inserts are mounted at its ends. One you can see here, one you can see here, and in some carbon pile voltage regulators, there are silver contacts within the carbon insert. Suppose this is the silver contact, and this is the other silver contact, this dot. Okay, so from these silver contacts, we can take the connections. So from here, one connection is taken, and this will be connected in a generator circuit, which we'll discuss after some time. Next we have discussed that there is an armature plate which is present at one end of the carbon pile. Okay. Also we have discussed that these silver contacts they form the conductive terminal. Okay. One is here and the other terminal is here. The other terminal is connected to a plate called as the armature plate. The armature plate is held by the control springs. 
what are these control springs okay so the armature plate is held by the control spring such that it makes sure that the carbon pile is held in the compressed state in the static conditions or normal operations next also in addition to the carbon pile we have a voltage coil and core in this what we have discussed that if i provide current okay or if i provide current from the generator circuit to this coil then this coil will produce a magnetic field and that will magnetize the core and if the electromagnetic force of this core is very much strong then it will pull down the armature this will cause the carbon pile length to be increased and hence more resistance will be provided by this carbon pile okay why does the armature come down the armature comes down because the electromagnetic force becomes more stronger than the control springs force right also friends we have drawn some conclusions from here that in static conditions the gap between the armature and voltage coil is more but in case the voltage coil electromagnetic force is very much strong then the gap will be less as the armature is to come down and when it comes down the length of the pile increases causing more resistance to be there in the circuit okay so this is all about the carbon pile voltage regulator now let's understand how this regulator is used in the generator circuit so friends i am going to consider a shunt generator for the purpose of explanation okay so let's start suppose this is a shunt generator okay i am writing here g g stands for generator suppose this is the positive terminal okay and this is the negative or ground terminal okay so this is the ground terminal i'll just draw ground over here like this okay so it is the ground terminal so i hope this is clear next this positive terminal i'll extend it and i'll draw it here okay so what you can see here is friends from the generator there are two terminals one here and one here right positive terminal and the ground terminal right suppose this is the field winding of the generator i am using sun generator as i have said so there will be many turns of thin copper wire right and that is connected in parallel with the armature like this so this end to this end and positive end to this end that means this is connected in parallel so this is the shunt generator okay now suppose friends you want to control the output of this generator what you do is you have to have a voltage regulator so i have discussed about vibrating contact type voltage regulator in my previous session for which i'll be sharing the link below in this session the voltage regulator which i am going to incorporate in this circuit is carbon pile voltage regulator so let's understand how the voltage regulator is incorporated here so friends is very simple we know that whatever the output the generator is producing at its terminals this one and this one that output is taken like this and given to the shunt field winding right so in between this in between the output and the field winding i have to connect a voltage regulator right so now i am going to connect this carbon pile voltage regulator in this winding so how is it connected let's connect friends i'll just erase this okay so this is the positive output okay so from here i am taking the tapping okay and the output is taken like this okay and it is given to this and of the carbon pile so from here the output is taken like this it goes like this via the carbon pile the current will go like this and then it will be connected to the field winding so this is how the current flows right getting friends so this is how the carbon pile voltage regulator is connected to the shunt field winding so friends what we have seen is between the output terminal and the input of the field winding i have connected a regulator right that's what we have discussed when i have told you about the connection of voltage regulator in the field circuit of the generator so friends as of now you are clear with how the voltage regulator is connected to the generator okay now this output is also connected to this voltage coil okay and this and is connected with the ground so this is the ground so i am connecting it here okay so friends this is how the voltage regulator is connected in the generator circuit so now friends let's understand how does the system work okay 
but before we start let me tell you something graphically okay suppose this is the graph this is the x axis this is the y axis suppose the x axis is showing you the rpm of the generator and y axis is showing you the output voltage okay so in that case when the rpm increases obviously the output voltage will increase yes so the graph will go like this right so with the increase in rpm the voltage increases that is when the generator starts running next also friends graphically i'll just tell you before we start learning about the schematic what is the relation between the carbon pile resistance and the carbon pile pressure that means the pressure which is applied on this pile suppose the y axis is representing the pile resistance okay and x axis is representing the pile pressure okay pile here means this carbon pile as the pile pressure as you apply the pressure on this pile that means it will compress right if it compresses its length decreases length decreases it means resistance decreases right that means with increasing pressure the resistance decreases see and this is how the resistance decreases so graphically you can see if the pile pressure increases the resistance decreases and also friends i would like to tell you the output voltage of this generator which is available at its terminals should be regulated right we don't want a variable output generator right we want a constant output generator or regulated output should be there so for regulated output okay if you see the graph suppose this x axis is representing the output voltage okay what happens is when the rpm increases the voltage will keep on increasing but because of the presence of this regulator okay there will come a point where the output voltage will become constant okay so that's why you can see the graph going straight this one okay so this since the graph is going straight it means the output has been regulated and this is called as the regulated setting okay why did this regulated setting or constant voltage appear over here it's because of the presence of the regulator so friends it is very good idea to have a voltage regulator in the output of a generator right because what we want we are getting it that means our idea of getting the constant voltage is made possible by the presence of the voltage regulator right so now let's understand the working of this circuit okay what is this circuit about this circuit is about the carbon pile voltage regulation okay so how does the regulation happen because of the presence of carbon pile voltage so suppose let's take the first case when the system is in the static condition or normal operations initially when the generator starts or when there is a run up stage we can say in that case the generator will be producing its voltage okay the voltage produced will be very less because of the generator is still rotating initial startup is there generator is developing its voltage so initially if you see the voltage will be less so that voltage is available at the terminals here and here right so if i see these terminals here from here the output voltage is going to this section and also it is going to this section right let's first discuss about this section the output voltage is going here it is going through this and through the carbon pile it is going and given to the field winding okay and also the output voltage tapping is taken from here the current is flowing this path and also is given to the coil voltage coil voltage coil so it is going to this voltage coil and it is getting the grounding path from here though the coil is getting energized but the electromagnetic force it produces on the core is not much strong and that's why at this point of time this core is not capable of pulling the armature downwards hence there is a considerable gap between the armature and the core so what did we note from here friends in the run up stage the carbon pile is in the compressed state because of which there is a minimum resistance in the carbon pile and hence more of the current is going to the shunt field winding so what is this i'll just label it shunt field winding okay so that is about the static condition next if suppose the generator is speeding up okay so there is a speed range for a generator if it is going towards the higher range in that case it will develop a very high voltage okay it, as the generator keeps on running so there will come a, an occasion where the output voltage will be very high so when the output voltage becomes very high again the same thing see current from the output terminal is tapped and it goes by means of this carbon pile right and also you can see from here so when the output voltage is very high see the current also will be very high so that high current goes through here 
okay and remember friends what i have told you earlier when the current is high in this case the core will be electromagnetized and it will produce a very strong electromagnetic force now when the voltage is very high causing very high current to be given to the coil the electromagnetic force also will be very much strong and in this scenario the spring force will become weak as compared to the force of the electromagnet and hence this armature will be pulled downwards so when the armature will be pulled downwards here okay that's why i'm showing this arrow down here so when this armature shift here what will happen is the length of this pile will increase right so the length of the pile increases so when length increases what happens resistance increases so whatever current flows through this path to the field winding that current has to pass through a higher resistance path so when it goes to a higher resistance path what will happen the current will become less and the current which is given to the field winding for its excitation will be less that means the excitation current has become less so when the excitation current becomes less in a generator the flux which is produced is also less so when the flux is less less flux will be cut and the output voltage will start reducing and there will come a point when the output voltage will come back to its normal equilibrium value okay so this is what happens in the case when the generator is developing a very high speed okay so friends what conclusion would we draw from here when the generator is speeding and going towards the higher range of its speed the conclusion is the length of the carbon pile increases and the armature shift downward because of the electromagnetic force of the voltage coil core becoming more and this causes the resistance to be increased okay and when resistance increases the conclusion which we draw is the current which is fed to the sent field winding that is the excitation current becomes less and when excitation current is less obviously the output voltage will start reducing and it will come back to the nominal value so that means that the regulator has the capability to control the output voltage of the generator at its terminals whenever the generator is speeding or speeding up or moving towards its higher speed range value okay now let's talk about the third case that is when the speed of the generator reduces suppose the generator is operating and producing a nominal voltage and all of a sudden the generator starts reducing its speed or if the speed falls off so as the speed start falling off what will happen is the output voltage also will start falling off so in that case so in that case whatever the current would be flowing through this coil it will be less so when the current is less in this coil the electromagnetic force also will be less in this core and hence obviously the armature won't be here in that situation the armature will be going back to its default position that means the spring force will dominate and push the armature upwards when the armature shift upwards or or the spring make sure that the armature is in its default position in that scenario what happens is the carbon pile will be compressed so when the carbon pile is compressed its length has reduced right that means the resistance reduces so when resistance reduces the current will become more so more current will be given to the shunt field winding that means the excitation current will be more when excitation current is more more flux will be present right and when more flux is present the generator will be producing more out output voltage that means the regulator also has the capability to increase the voltage of the generator when the speed of the generator is reducing okay but remember that the speed of the generator should not go below its lower range other in that case what will happen is the output voltage also will reduce and generator this carbon pile voltage regulator also will not be able to do anything okay so i repeat again the generator speed also should not go beyond a certain value that is the lower range of its speed otherwise what will happen if it goes below the lower range of its speed then the output voltage will also start reducing and the carbon pile voltage regulator will not have any control over the regulation of the output voltage okay so friends i'll quickly summarize what we have discussed in this circuit we have discussed about three cases we have discussed about the static or the normal condition then we have discussed about the speed up condition and the speed less condition okay that means when the speed is reduced okay so i'll quickly summarize what happens in all these three cases in static conditions when the generator is speeding up or when when it's in the run up stage the output voltage will be less 
So in that case, since the output voltage is less, the current would be going to both of these lines. So what will happen is uh, the carbon pile will be held in its compression state, default state, because of which the resistance will be less. And when resistance is less, more current will go to the field winding and hence the generator will keep developing more and more voltage. So what were the conclusions which we have drawn in the static con condition? In static condition, the carbon pile is in the compressed state, the armature and the core they are having a considerable gap between them the armature does not come downward because it is the force of the control spring which dominates and makes sure that the armature is pushed up such that the carbon pile is in the compressed state giving minimum resistance in the generator field circuit or generator field excitation circuit okay and what happens in static condition to the voltage coil though the current is flowing through this but the electromagnetic force is not much strong to pull the armature downwards Okay, but the circuit is still closed and the coil is still energized. Next, we have discussed that if the generator speeds up and goes towards its higher speed range, so in that case, the generator output voltage will be becoming very much high, right? So in that case, very high current will go through these paths. But when the current goes through these paths in this situation, the electromagnetic force will be very much strong. When the electromagnetic force is very much strong, it will pull down the armature. The spring force won't dominate over here, but the electromagnetic force will dominate. So when it pulls the armature down, the, the pile length is increased. When length increases, the resistance increases. When there is more resistance here, so of course, more resistance means less current. So less current will be going to the shunt field winding. That is the excitation current will be less. And when excitation current will be reduced, obviously the generator voltage will come down to the nominal value or, or equilibrium value, right? Third case is when the generator speed reduces. So when the generator is speed is reduced, going towards its lower speed range, in that case, if the regulator want to control the output voltage, what does the regulator do? Again, the, the current will flow in both of these sections. So current which was flowing to this voltage coil, what will happen to this voltage coil? The core will not be electromagnetized much strongly in that situation. Okay, and the spring force will be dominating in this in this scenario, causing the armature to be pushed upwards. Okay, that means the pile length will decrease. When pile length decreases, resistance also will be decreased. That means there will be minimum resistance again in the circuit. When there is minimum resistance, the current which will be flowing from this path will have less resistance in its path. So when there is less resistance, the current will be more. So when more current will be there, there will be more flux and hence the output voltage of the generator also will be more. So friends, I hope uh, you have enjoyed learning today's topic about the carbon pile voltage regulation. I'll come up again with a new topic in my next session. Till then, you enjoy learning this topic and thank you.